beefy in the casa okay so we're at the 250 this tank is 24 by 5 foot by 30 and it has three fx6s on it uno dos tres and it used to have an e-flux pump system too which is legit until your fish get up to a certain size and then uh having cords in the tank and they can knock them off but i'm gonna be taking two of these out putting them on dollies and putting them on the side of the tank and then i'm going to build um a 5,000 gallon an hour sump system down here below in the next three days the sump i have it's in storage i grab it but uh yeah and i'm gonna build a double drop system because there's nitrates built up here a little bit too quickly this tank, it has a heavy tank stock. I don't want to tr like move one fish though out of here or put another fish in here. This is a perfect tank, just watch. Not everything needs the pellets, but. How do you whip you fish? Ugh. Uh, massive war. Uh, our local uh, fish store here, AZ Pets, they give me the two and a half pound bags for 45 bucks a piece. So, and those are like super expensive regularly. And those are on the way. They probably already are still there. Straff Cat Jeffrey. These are pretty much all my wise fish. It's the daytime, so not a lot of them will come out. There's uh, two bikers in there, one Dell Easy. One green, uh, a pom pom knife that is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. It has huge, huge gold uh, uh, markings on it, circles all over. When I have time some days, I'll just do that and watch him sift through the sand. It's real cool to watch that. I have plans to make this sand a little bit deeper, too. I do not like sand, though. I don't know why I use it. I tell myself every time I start a new tank, I'm like, no, I'm not putting sand in it. And then, bam, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, I'll come over to 500, and now I put sand in there, too. And now I've kind of covered it up with lava rocks and everything else. What? I did get a new bass here this week. A broke a pondo and uh, his head's healing. We smashed it on top. It's the only thing I don't like. These guys hit their head on the top all the time feeding. But the broke a pondo um, couldn't make it in here. I don't know. Hopefully this snook makes it. The other two couldn't do it. That one seems to be holding on though. And this dude. This guy's gonna get his own tank. He doesn't need a 500 gallon tank. This foot, this tank is 10 foot <clears throat> by 30 by 30. And he claims this whole tank as his territory. This dude. The only fish he doesn't mess with at all, right there. Look at these Thames though, they're getting pretty. Not even that well colored up today either. I thought a broken pondo would look really good in here. Those are peacock bass from Suriname and they get kind of red underneath too. But uh, I couldn't cut it. These fish are super aggressive, dude. I've tried, um, let's see, what have I tried to mix lately? The snook, that one might make it. Uh, Trimax. I tried a few Trimax. They were all about seven inches. They didn't make it. Uh, I tried a Fredestal Moto Hybrid in here this weekend, and it didn't make it. See, the problem is old Grandma Pinema here. Is she's like a prolific fish eater, and if she thinks she can shove it in her mouth, look at her forehead healing up right now. She's gonna try. This fish is like. This is crazy, okay? 
five and a half, almost six years old, about 22 inches, um, six and a half, seven pound range. 10 months old Venezuelan Tomensis. 19, almost 20 inches already, one year. It's insane. Calvary right there, same thing. My Calvary is like two and a half years old, about almost 18 inches. He's really stopped growing. Same with the Azul, it's like 18, 19 inches. This, I think this one's a male, he's getting a little bit bigger. I think this one's a female. I, a Tamensis bass, the way it grows, I have never seen anything grow that fast. I mean, they keep up with an arowana. I mean, it, like, Tamensis peacock bass, the Venezuelan ones. I'm not really hip on the three barred ones. I like those, they get big, but they're kind of common. I like, you know, when I say Tamensis, I want to see the spots, not just the bars. See, look at that. That broken pondo was pretty too. It's $200 fish down the drain. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Oh, oh whoops, whoops, medical, I'm medical. Um, yeah. See, I have these mats in front of my tanks. work on all right well i'm gonna make another video once i get farther and get the drop boxes on and everything else beefy out